The Cleveland Browns are in desperate need of an upset win. Will they get it here? We'll find out in a second. But first, I want to talk to you about a special going on at Wager Talk. We're throwing in an extra 30 days of our all-access service at a huge discount. 60 days, just $3.98. For me, that means you get the rest of the MLB playoffs. I've hit nine baseball bets coming into Friday. Um, Back-to-back 5% winners in baseball. Tremendous run through the postseason right now. You'll get my first month of college basketball. Uh, I've net profit of 48 units over the past two seasons. That starts on November 4th. So a great time to, to use that promo to get my next 60 days at a discounted rate. Uh, these videos have been awesome. Uh, I didn't have a great NFL week last week on client plays, but the video play cashed with Jets Vikings under 40 and a half. It gets there by a half point, 23 to 17 final in London. And, you know, to go back to my initial kind of the question I posed at the top, can the Browns pull the upset here? I'm not sure to be, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I don't know that I want to lay a massive number with the Eagles, but I don't know if the Browns can hang around in this game. And so I'm going to do what I did last week and try to try to cash with another total in this game. Uh, This feels like a game that just stays under and, and doesn't have a ton of offense. Uh, to me. And, you know, even with this being bet down a little bit, I still think under 43, under 42 and a half, where it is right now, it is is the right side in this game. So the Eagles, very banged up going into the bye week, ugly performance against the Bucks two weeks ago prior to the bye. Um, they look to be healthy. So what that means is, you know, getting Brown, Smith back on offense, Lane Johnson, very important uh, you know, for pass protection for the Eagles. And I, and I think that really helps them here, but it, it should help them control the line of scrimmage, longer possessions. Like, I don't think that it just means that they're going to come out and, and drop 40 points on the Browns. I, I think the market would, will, you know, with this number where it is and, and, you know, with some of the narratives you're going to hear, okay, Eagles getting healthy, come out of the, coming out of the buy. I, I think that that's going to be, the thought process. Um, and, and I think the books have, have sort of priced it this way. Uh, but you know, the Eagles have the giants coming up next week. I'd be really surprised if they go super deep into the playbook. And I'd be really surprised if they, they play AJ Brown, Devonta Smith, like full, you know, full minutes here. They're full, like what their normal workload would be knowing that like they're really screwed if they get hurt again, right? Like Eagles drew an early bye, which was nice to help them get healthy here. But now this team's not getting another bye week the rest of the season. We saw what this offense or what just what the Eagles looked like without them. And so knowing that they got, they have a big division rival on deck, uh, I could almost see the Eagles maybe going a little bit more vanilla here, especially if they're in the lead in this game, uh, which, which looks to be likely. Because the Browns have done nothing to suggest that that you know that that they're going to come out and just be an offensive juggernaut here, or that they're going to come out and pull the upset. Um, you know, they're struggling on defense. The Browns were arguably the best defense in the league last year. They had one of the top defenses in the league all season, and it just hasn't been that so far this year. They've been middle of the pack in in most metrics. They're not getting. They're not, they don't have the pass rush they've had last year. Miles Garrett has played hurt. Now it looks like he's got an Achilles injury. So he could be ruled out by game time. You know, that's, that's something that I think would, you know, affect this game significantly if Garrett is, is ruled out. Um, But, but even if he is, I still think that this game stays under because I I don't think the Eagles are just going to come out and put up 40 points. I think that they're going to look to, to, run clock, time of possession, you know, lean on their offensive line and just kind of run the ball, finish off long drives. And and, and typically that works out for the under. We, we, we kind of saw that at times, you know, that was something I brought up last week in, you know, with, with the Vikings. Uh, and, and that's kind of how the game played out. And in the end, it did stay under in that game, 23-17. Similar total here. And and I, I think, it you know, we find a, a way to stay under here. Um, even in, 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 and I think a lopsided game would actually help us in that regard. Uh, because if the Eagles do what this spread is suggesting that they'll do and they've got a double digit lead, 
You're not going to see Smith out there. You're not going to see Brown out there. You're not going to see the Eagles taking shots downfield uh, and putting those guys in harm's way. You're going to see them leaning on that offensive line. The Browns have struggled to uh, to stop the run, and it's going to be eight, nine-minute drives. You know, If the Browns can stand tall in the red zone a couple of times and, and hold those to field goals as opposed to touchdowns, uh, I don't think we have any problem keeping this one under the total. On the other side, uh, Deshaun Watson's a mess. I mean, he he can't throw. He can't push the ball downfield. And he's really getting exposed by the lack of a run game for the Browns, which has been exposed by the offensive line injury. So the, the Browns have had a, a, a haven't had their full complement of offensive linemen all year. You know, Conklin has been battling injuries all year. Wills has been battling injuries all year. They, they've been down multiple blockers the whole season. And it's just, it, it's been a mess because, the Browns can't run it effectively. And so what happens is Watson just holds the ball. He he takes sacks. He he can't throw it downfield. So, you know, no no defense is is lining up against the Browns right now. Um, you know, thinking that he can beat them deep. And, and there's just there's just nothing out there for this Cleveland offense. So I would prefer them I, I would prefer the Browns to start Jameis Winston at this point. Um, I I kind of I was hoping that. You know they made that move last week when it when it was the game was still in hand. Of course, I were, or when the game was still in striking distance. I had the Browns last week uh, against the Commanders, and and that was of course a, a bad call, and it just turned into a complete blowout. Watson played awful, but it looks like the Browns are going to continue to go out there with Watson, and I just don't see how the offense does anything you know close to like dynamic. With with Watson under center, I, I, it, it, this this feels like something that could go off the rails here for the Browns. Maybe this season just it, it just isn't it for them, and they end up being one of the one of the lesser teams in the league, which is certainly where they're headed. If they lose here, they'd be one and five. If they lost this game, so again, the way I see this playing out, I think the Eagles probably get out to a lead here, and they do everything to just kind of you know assault this game away. I don't think the Eagles want to you know, show the whole playbook here in, you know, a week, you know, out of the bye week, a week ahead of a, a big divisional game with the Giants. And I don't think they're going to put guys like Smith, like Brown, you know, in harm's way late in this game, throwing the ball downfield if they have a lead. I think they're going to lean on that law, offensive line, run the ball. They'll be content with taking the field goal to keep the one possession cushion. And when I add all of that up, I get under 42 and a half. So we'll call it 42 and a half. I think that's where the market is as I make this video and five and one on these video plays. Uh, I've got a college football one up that I just posted. Uh, let's see if we can stay hot on these and cash another totals winner in the NFL. Please like, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you free pick videos all season. And you can find me on every social media platform at Adam trigger WT. We'll see you guys next week.